Today I'm going to show you this uh, large vein anemometer. The diameter of the vein is huge, which is very suitable for measuring dark opening. If especially when your dark opening uh, is bigger than usual. For example, uh, let's say uh, for example it is about 50 cm by 50 cm. If you're using a small vein, you you be you need to take a lot of different points, and the accuracy will be affected. If you're using this vein, you only need to take one to two or even three points, and a lot of times are being saved. And you also be getting a more uniform reading. We switch on the meter. At the top, it will show you the wind speed. At the bottom, it will show you the uh, temperature of the wind airflow. If you press the up button, you will convert to meter cube per hour, which is the uh, airflow volume. Press one more time, you will be getting back to the degree Celsius, which is the temperature. With this unit, you will also be able to measure <coughs> point mean point a or point average for example at first point I take a reading I press this button and enter button here it takes one reading okay I went I go to the second point I press another time you have two reading and I go to the third point I take the three points and I want to see the average of my duct opening for example I just press one more time okay this 0 0.27 is the mean I will repeat First of all, you press this button to record your points and you press this button to to get the average of your readings, the points that you have taken. Okay, we go to the next one. You show you the airflow volume also, airflow speed, airflow volume and uh, air temperature. Mean is I, I think you understand what mean is means means average of the readings. Okay, I'll go to the next one. And this one, this one we call it time mean. Time mean that means uh, you are taking a measurement over a uh, uh, period of time, and you want to know the temperature, the average temperature of the time. The average temperature within this period of time. I start. Okay, yes, start. The time will start to run. At the bottom, you will start recording the average mean temperature. For example, I go to the next one, it will show you the meter cube per hour, and then it will show you the uh, degree Celsius. Okay, after I've done it, I want to see the average temperature. For example, I, I blow at the pin once. Okay. Okay, now I want to know the average readings. I press one more time. The average reading of the airflow speed is 0 0.39 meter per second air flow volume uh, average airflow or mean airflow volume is 9.6 meter cube per hour and the temperature is 25 degrees celsius okay okay uh, now i have come back to the original reading you can also hold the reading for to give you time to record down the data you press once more, you'll be getting the maximum reading yet see, ever since the first time you start using this meter, uh, taking the measurement. First, uh, ever since you start me uh, taking measurements using this meter. This is the minimum figures, which is zero, of course. You want to see change to wave over, you just press this button once. Okay, besides this, you will, uh, it's, it, it is actually very easy for you to set the required reading okay 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 this one I will repeat it go off okay this one meter square here when you see meter square here that means for you to input the input the surface area of the ducting of, of, the, of the duct opening so that you will be able to get the airflow volume if your the the side the shape of the ducting is square, you just get the surface area times and get the surface area and insert it here. If I 
for example it's 70 okay I press okay then auto off is on or off auto off they mean after 5 minutes the meter will shut over time you want it to be on or to be off it's up to you so next is unit one uh, one unit for airflow is meter per second if you are in USA people will normally use FPM so we have to go to the I just change the unit to FPM press enter here enter this is button is enter okay okay for you to go to the option just remember to hold this button for five seconds now I've changed the units to FPM and now the degrees is the temperature is in Fahrenheit if I want to change it back I just hold again go to the bottom and change to meter per second okay okay you see it has come back to the UK version UK standard British standard okay that's all for these meters and the battery compartment is here it's using the normal 9 volt battery and when you're purchasing these units, you'll be also getting a federation report, which is done in Germany. And you'll also be getting a menu, or sort of menu here. Mm. And uh, you can also choose to purchase this optional accessory for easy handling of the meters. I can just put here. Okay, see? Okay. You can carry it around anywhere. Thank you. And this warranty, uh, this unit come with two years warranty. It's hundred percent made in Germany. We have stocks in our warehouse. And I'm Steven. I'm making this video introduction video from our office in Johor. And I look forward to receive your inquiry. And I'll be happy to assist you in anywhere. Not only myself, my staff will be happy to help you to the best we can and our website is www.meter.com.my and our email is sales at